Hey guys, Chris Superfast RC. And it's pretty obvious what we're doing today. This is the Traxxas X Max. It's the biggest, it's the baddest RC that they make. And we're fixing to get into the box. When I got to a thousand subscribers, I had this idea in my head that, okay, for a thousand subscribers, we'll get the X Max because it runs about a thousand bucks, guys. This thing's not cheap. Uh, any day of the week, it never has been. So, um, thousand subscribers, I would get the X Max and we do a review and we're going to beat it. We're going to have some cool fun with it. But um, first, we got to get into the box. So, let's do it. Um, first off, absolutely gigantic box i mean dwarfs any other box you're going to see in the hobby store uh, you know what you're looking at when you see the box it's just the x max i'm going to show you on this side of the box traxxas actually gives you the full size actual size photograph of the truck and it stretches the entire length of the box so we know what, from the get-go what's on the inside um, i did get the green one so that was my personal preference when i went to the hobby store uh you know i was thinking okay well i'm just gonna have to settle for whatever they have right it just turned out whatever they had behind the counter was the green one and i was just like i'll take it i didn't even ask any questions about it he's like i want an x max he's like okay we've got one and i'm like all right he's like it's green i'm like okay i'll take it it's mine um Thanks to RCHQ in San Antonio, Texas. They're excellent guys, I love them. They do a great job of keeping stuff in stock. And if you follow their you know, feeds and everything, see they have a lot of mini Z racing and they basically carry any RC thing you want. Any brands, Traxxas, Low C, Horizon, Kyosho, whatever you want, you can get it there. And they're super great guys, so highly recommend them. Anyways, moving on to the X-Max itself. Um, yeah, I just don't know where to begin. So you saw the front side, obviously, 8S, 50 mile an hour speed. Um, what does it say on this side? X Max requires the use of LiPo batteries. Obvious, that's pretty obvious. Uh, it's a skill level six. Just so y'all know, if you're looking at this for your youngsters, skill level six, so you might not want to get this for them if you're afraid of them destroying you know the truck or any of your belongings or property it's huge uh, yeah basically there's just this disclaimer there on the side of the box that tells you that it's it's potentially dangerous so this side of the box what we've got going on we have <laughs> they put a stampede 4x4 on here to kind of show you the size difference max scale so they don't actually rate the scale on the truck but it's max scale so it's the biggest thing that Traxxas makes um, uh, here's the ESC. This is the 30 volt uh, VXL 8S power ESC. So right there, uh, heavy duty gearing, center differential. This is the motor. Let's see if this says anything about the motor. Dual fan cooled, four pole brushless in runner motor. And then of course it has a wheelie bar. Um, waterproof electronics. So if you want to take this in water, definitely can. Uh, huge shocks as we can see and it's got the self riding so if you want to use that to kind of you know get it flipped over if you're you know 300 feet or 300 yards away from your truck when it flips over you can do that so um, anything else on the side of the box not really I think we covered everything oh it also has TSM and it does come with a TQI and I did purchase the TQI the Bluetooth module so we will be able to use that this side of the box shows you it comes with the TQI um, just tells you anything about the batteries and what you require here and it's the X max we miss anything show you one more time the green version they have that rock and roll paint scheme red and orange as well but I got the green just my personal preference and my favorite side of the box is the back side because it just has this awesome illustration of the truck here awesome photograph and it shows everything price tag right here 9.99 dollars 
like I said, not cheap, um, but it's the biggest and baddest thing you can get from Traxxas at least. The only thing I think that would rival this would be the Arma 8S, but Traxxas guy through and through, always have been, so why change now, right? Let's get that squared up. We're gonna get into this thing right now. So here we go, we're cutting the seal. Never been opened, this is, this is it. Okay, that seal's cut. That seal's cut. I think the last time I did an unboxing like this, it was for the 2017 Emacs. It's been too long, guys. We have to do this more often, right? This is cool. All right, she's free. Here we go. We're upside down. Oopsies. Let's flip it up. Let's flip it around, right? All right, let's try this again. It's huge. This table's too small. All right, box is opening. Oh my goodness, it is gigantic. Holy cow. What are these? Does this whole thing slide out? How does this work? Oh yeah, the whole thing's coming out. Oh. Toss this cardboard to the side. Oh my goodness. All right, so first thing we're gonna get here, this is gonna be our TQI. I think I'm getting off camera a little bit. Uh, let's see. So you know what this is, you've seen it before, right there, TQI. So it gives you that option to run the Bluetooth module, which we will run. Uh, it's kind of like, kind of cheapy feeling, but it's, it's you know, they work. So no big deal with that. We got TQI right there. Let's see if we need those anymore. Let's get the truck out of the box. Ooh. Is there anything else? No, it's just a piece of box material down there. Okay. And we've got our out of the box scooter center up. It's huge. How do we get it out of here? I'm guessing we're gonna have to take the body off. It's got a clipless body mechanism, so we just turn it, pull it, and lift off. Here it comes. We're gonna leave the plastic on there for now. I'm gonna set this aside. Don't fall. Wow. Getting this you're just gonna have to get mean with it, I guess. Okay, got our manual right here, and a sticker sheet, some tools. It looks like there's a wheel nut wrench, some battery uh, hold downs and spacers, a couple of hex tools. Probably won't use those, and then your owner's manual, as usual with Traxxas vehicles. All right. Let's go ahead and get this other side of the box off. I mean, this thing is huge, guys. Okay. So Traxxas, what they do in the box is they... I'm sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm just super excited about this truck. They use these giant zip ties. These are the kind that you see used in like HVAC and AC stuff. They're really thick, so you're going to need a real tool to get them cut. Oh, and, and it'll stand itself up. All right, come on out of there. Well. Bye-bye. Let's see here. Super strong zip ties. Anything else in the box? No. All right. Let's grab it. Oh, my God. Wow. That's, that's some serious heft. This thing's gigantic. Whew. It's huge. Okay, sorry, I, I'm not talking. I, I'm, it's taking my breath away. And we're gonna put the beautiful green body on. And I think 
you just lift here. Like this is my first clip list, so. And that's it. Wow. So, I already showed you this. We're going to set that aside. Everything on this is big. So, the tires, they're huge, absolutely gigantic. I had a ruler here set aside. I was going to get some measurements. Tires are eight inches tall and they are four inches wide. That's nuts. Absolutely insane. Wheelie bar. Wheels have ball bearings. Um, and the wheels are also huge. It, it's crazy. Everything on this truck is just out of this world if you're used to anything else. Take the body back off. We're going to show some stuff off. It's just, I don't have any place to put it. It's so big. All right. So right here, we've got the motor. It's got dual cooling fans. That motor is huge. My Lord. Holy cow. Um, I will tell you, the guy at the hobby shop, Elliot, shout out, uh, RCHQ, did tell me that the gear mesh, not the gear mesh, but after a few runs to check your pinion set screw, that he's seen a lot of those come out uh, after a couple runs and strip a spur gear. So he did warn me about that. It's not a big deal. You just check it, make sure that the uh, pinion has not come loose on the motor shaft, put some Loctite on it, tighten it back down with a quality hex driver and you'll be good to go. Um, ESC, this is the 8S, Traxxas ESC. I've read some things about it. It is what it is. Uh, most people have good luck with it. Some people don't. And if, if I'm one of those, basically the route to go would be the Hobbywing uh, Max 6, I believe, or Max 5. I can't remember exactly what model it is, but it's a Hobbywing. Um, radio right here. This is your receiver with the TQI, the telemetry enabled receiver. Uh, you can get the GPS add-ons to make sure, you know, get the speed readings and everything you can put. Motor temperature, actually I think that's already included. So if you get this truck and you get the Bluetooth module that's going to plug into your Traxxas Link, the TQI system, you'll get your motor temperature and I believe your BEC voltage. So that's pretty cool, which I do have, so I'll be doing that. Uh, anything else we need to look at? Well, there's just everything to look at. Battery trays. They flip up and they're gigantic. Uh, you can basically put anything you want in there. I mean, they're huge. I'm actually going to run some Z Power 9000 milliamp hour 4S batteries in this to get the 8S. They're not here yet, but they're coming and we'll do a review on those as well. Um, so, giant battery trays for giant batteries. The servo, it's in there somewhere. I think it's actually sandwiched between the two chassis plates, it looks like. And uh, I've read some things on that as well. You know, it is what it is. It works for the most part. Uh, people don't have too much trouble with it, but they do make an upgraded mount where you can actually add a super high precision servo to it, high torque, standard size servo. Um, drive shafts, steel all the way around. You've got a big steel center drive shaft, very similar to like a Rustler VXL 4x4 or a Stampede or a Slash 4x4, the design of the truck. And then, of course, you know, with the Max, they just shrunk down the X-Max. And, um, yeah, so that kind of modularity uh, is repeated throughout the truck as well. Holy cow, these drive shafts are absolutely nuts. I think they're 5 millimeter thick, if not bigger. And the springs, I mean, everything on this tub is just out of this world. It's huge. I'm sorry. Like, this is a terrible unboxing, but this thing is sick. Um, the shocks, they match the body color. I mean, that's freaking cool. There's everything about this thing is just awesome. And, you know, a lot of people, you read about these and you say and you see them and they say, well, I love it and I hate it at the same time. It's one of those things, you know, you, it's huge. It's hard to find an awesome place to run it, but there's nothing else like it. So, I mean, I live out here in the country, so that's not an issue for me. I can go run it wherever I want. I don't care. But um, if you're in the city and you buy one of these things and you're trying to run it at a park, people might get some weird looks because, I mean, this thing 
do some serious damage if you hit somebody with it. I mean, it's giant. Another cool feature, just have to point out, Traxxas even color matches the wheel nuts. And the actual dry, the stub axle is color matched aluminum, it looks like. That's just not, it's, it's just so cool. Underneath, so we've got full under chassis protection. I mean, there's nothing's gonna happen here, guys. It's, it's perfect. Uh, the shock shafts are captured. I mean, I mean the pins that hold the shock, bo shock bottoms. I can't talk, I'm telling you. Uh, they're captured with little screws here, set screws. Little cap head screws, keep them from backing out. And yeah, this thing is just, it's a freaking tank. Wow. Let me do that again. Sounds like the world's coming to an end when that thing drops. Okay. Sorry, I'm oogling. Um, this thing is just so cool. Uh, clip it on. No. There we go. It slots in. Turn the clip. It's locked. I mean, uh, wow. So this has been the unboxing of the Traxxas X-Max. I just want to say thanks, guys. You know, I started this channel 12 years ago, if not a little bit longer. And back then, I never had aspirations of having a 1,000 subscribers. I just started so I could put some videos up so people on forums could see the videos. But uh, it started growing over the years. And I think back in 2014, I started taking it a little bit more seriously and uh, basically started doing reviews of products. Uh, if you look back at some of my very early videos, I did like a tire review, a pro line review, and then like a castle mama monster review, and they were terrible. I mean, the reviews were just me telling you about the product and not enjoying myself at all. But um, that's done. I I'm gonna enjoy this. We're gonna have fun. And thanks for being on this crazy ride with me. This is gonna be the focus of the channel for the next couple of months, and we'll see where we go from there. But um, this thing's awesome. I just wanna thank y'all guys for subscribing, watching, commenting, liking, and all the stuff that y'all do on YouTube. But um, this is super cool. I can't wait to go bash it. All right, guys, this has been Chris, Super Fast RC. Thanks for hanging around and watching this long video. Um, subscribe if you liked it, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.